From night monkeys and tiny antelope to maned wolves and screaming armadillos, here are 18 unusual land mammals you didn't know exist. Number 18. Moon rats. While they do resemble rats, these animals are not rodents. They're more closely related to hedgehogs, although they're not spiny. Researchers say their physical traits can resemble those of the earliest mammals. That includes having a furless tail and a head that is about one third the length of its total body. Moon rats are also noted for marking their territory with a scent that resembles garlic or onions. They're mostly found in Vietnam or other areas of Southeast Asia. Number 17, Nyala. Native to Southern Africa, this spiraled horned antelope displays the highest degree of sexual dimorphism among such animals. Males can weigh about 276 pounds, 125 kilograms, while females are about 150 pounds maximum, 68 kilos. They're threatened by poaching, disease, and habitat loss. But overall, their population is regarded as stable, with an estimated 30,000 individuals or more. More than 80% of them live in sanctuaries and national parks where they're protected. Number 16, Monk Sakis. Saki monkeys are New World primates that range throughout South America. The monk saki gets its name due to the way its fur covers over its head like a monk's cowl. That's what we're told anyway. This species is found from Brazil to Colombia and is about the same size as a 5 pound 2.2 kilogram rabbit. Its thick bushy tail can measure 22 inches 55 centimeters, which is longer than its body. Humans are unlikely to encounter this monkey since it's very shy and completely arboreal. Number 15. Caca missile. These animals range from Mexico to Panama and look like a mashup of several species. Sometimes they're mistaken for ring-tailed cats, to which they are related. In fact, the name Caca missile comes from an Aztec word meaning half mountain lion or half cat but they actually belong to the same family as raccoons, and you can see it in their tail. These are small omnivores, weighing little more than one and a half kilograms, and its tail can be longer than its body. They typically favor woodlands, tropical areas, and mountain forests. Are you thinking you'd want one for a pet? Not a good idea. These are solitary animals that really value their space. Researchers say that a single caca missile needs a home range of about 50 acres or 20 hectares. Number 14, Lowland Streaked Tenrec. If a big yellow jacket and a hedgehog mated, the result might be this animal, which has a defense mechanism reminiscent of a porcupine. Those sharp yellow bristles provide great camouflage in the forest, but the animal also has spiky spines that grow between their fur. If a predator tries to attack, they'll get a mouthful of spines for their trouble. They're unique to the island of Madagascar. Because of their small size, at around six inches long, 15 centimeters, and weighing seven ounces, 200 grams, some people think they're very cute and would make for great pets. Just don't pet it, or you might get a handful of spines. Number 13, Night Monkeys. Remember in Spider-Man Far From Home when Peter Parker went by the alias of Night Monkey? While that was made up for the movie, there is a creature known by the same name, and it's this one. These New World primates are native to the tropics of Central and South America, and as you might guess, they're most active at night. In fact, researchers say they're the only monkeys known to be truly nocturnal. Working at night gives them several advantages. That includes escaping the heat of the day and avoiding run-ins with predators. Although they're small, nine monkeys are known for making a wide range of vocalizations. Eight distinct categories of calls, including screams, various grunts, and hooting noises are known so far. Number 12, ring-tailed coati. From their striped tail, you can probably puzzle out that these critters belong to the same family as raccoons. That means they're also related to the previously mentioned cacomissile. There are four different species of coati which are found from the southwestern United States through Central and South America. This particular species is widespread throughout the Amazonian jungles of the latter continent. Chile is the only South American country where they don't show up. Number 11, Bongo. 
The bongo is distinguished by its reddish brown coat with black and white markings, and by its long spiraled horns. Both sexes display those heavy, hollow horns, which is unusual for this type of antelope. They can reach some impressive sizes, weighing up to 900 pounds, 407 kilos. If you want to see one in person, be prepared for a hike. Bongos are often found at elevations of 13,000 feet, that's 4,000 meters. Number 10, Tamandua. While it might not have the greatest brand awareness, this animal is related to giant anteaters. That becomes obvious once you see their tongues. They measure around 16 inches, 40 centimeters, and are covered with barbs, which collect ants and termites. That specialized organ helps them put away 9,000 ants in a single day. But they can also eat soft fruits and honey with their mouth, which is about as round as a pencil. They can be found from southern Mexico or Brazil. Did you know they're often kept as exotic pets? Number 9. Kalugo Aside from bats, there are some other mammals that can travel through the air. But in this case, gliding would be the more appropriate verb. Kalugos have extra flaps of skin located between their legs, allowing them to glide between higher and lower locations. They can stay airborne for distances exceeding 200 feet, 61 meters, with only a slight loss of height. The arboreal animals are found in Southeast Asia. They're also called flying lemurs, but that's a misnomer. True lemurs are primates, unlike the Kalugo. Some sources suggest that they are actually more closely related to bats than primates. Number 8. Belgian Blues A lot of people think these bovines are injected with steroids to make them look so muscular. But this beefed up breed didn't get jacked due to steroids. Its appearance is due to a condition called double muscling, which gives them more muscle fibers than normal. Sometimes the issue of animal abuse surfaces when pictures of the beast circulate online. But as is the case with this breed, the pictures simply provide an example of double muscling. The genetic mutation prohibits the formation of a protein that inhibits muscle growth. Number 7. Ard Wolf If you're unfamiliar with this beast, let's first discuss hyenas, to which they're related. Those animals can have a canine appearance, but they're defined as cat-like carnivores. Their ancestors showed up more than 20 million years ago and evolved into two distinct groups, bone crushers like the striped and spotted species and dog-like hyenas. The aardwolf descended from the latter variety. Its name means earth wolf and it's found in East and Southern Africa. Unlike its hyena cousins, this creature doesn't hunt larger animals. It's an insectivore that prefers termites. Its long, sticky tongue can lap up more than 250,000 termites in a single night. Number 6. Zebra Dicar When you think of antelopes, do you see a large bovine animal? Well, antelopes come in several sizes, and the Dicar family contains some of the smallest species. They're found mainly in West Africa and get their name from the zebra-like stripings on their back. The animals typically weigh less than 45 pounds, 20 kilograms, and measure 35 inches, 90 centimeters long. Researchers think the animal's stripes serve as camouflage from predators in the rainforest. Number 5. Maned Wolf It looks like a fox, but it's not. It looks like a wolf, but despite its name, it's not a wolf either. However, it is a canid, just like those other species, and it's the largest one in South America. It's immediately recognized by its dense reddish fur and long thin legs, which help it run through the grasslands. That scientists have made it the only species in its genus. They can weigh about 50 pounds, 23 kilograms, and stand nearly three feet at the shoulder, 90 centimeters. Most humans are tolerant of the animals, and in some regions, they're thought to bring good luck. Number four, Geronook. They're found in areas of East Africa and are distinguished by their slender limbs and long necks. When fully extended, their necks make them appear like the antelope version of giraffes. They normally stand about 41 inches tall, 105 centimeters. But when they feed, Geronooks stand on their hind legs and elongate their necks to reach food on the higher branches of trees. When they do so, these animals can reach a standing height of more than six and a half feet. That's two meters. Number three, Jaguar Rundi. 
Don't be fooled by the name. These small wildcats found in the Americas aren't related to jaguars. Its closest relatives are cheetahs and cougars. The slender and elusive creatures weigh about 20 pounds, 9 kilograms, and are known to make a wide range of vocalizations. There's an unconfirmed story that jaguar rundis were introduced to Florida sometime during the 20th century. Several sightings were reported during the century, but no specimens living or dead have ever been reliably documented. Number 2. Saiga Antelope These animals are found in limited areas of Kazakhstan and Russia, but at one time they populated vast open ranges from Central and Eastern Europe to Northwest China and Mongolia. Saiga antelopes are noted for their strange-looking, bloated nostrils, which are closely spaced and turned downward. But the unusual configuration has a purpose. During the summer, it helps to filter out dust and cool the blood. In the wintertime, it heats cold air before it reaches the lungs. Disease and overhunting for their meat and horns have combined to make the Saiga antelope a critically endangered species. If conservation efforts aren't improved, this creature's existence won't be known for much longer. Number 1. Screaming Hairy Armadillo There are certain things that we expect from armadillos. 1. That they're not overly hairy, and 2. That they do not scream. But there are certain species that are the outliers, such as this one from South America. They grow about 16 inches long, 41 centimeters, and weigh about 3 pounds, 1.4 kilograms. The burrowing critter has plates on its back that are covered in long, bristly strands of hair. As for screaming, the adjective might be overstated. It is inspired by the animal's habit of squealing loudly whenever it's threatened or being handled. Maybe squealing hairy armadillo doesn't have the same ring to it. What do you think? Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and click the bell for notifications for our next exciting episode right here on Epic Wildlife.